Hey everybody, Solo Warlock coming at you guys with a brand new Let's Play that I had promised you guys forever ago. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Woot. Developed by Vicarious Visions. It's Crash Bandicoot. So yeah guys, we have starting today the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now I have to turn down the volume a little bit because I had it turned up to like 36 in my ear and it's like whoa, whoa. As much as I love the music, it's loud. Yeah, so Naughty Dog had nothing to do with this, even though they were the original creators of the three games. Now I don't think I can play the other two because yeah, they're still installing, but let's dive into Crash Bandicoot. The original. Also, maybe this time I'll be able to get 100%. Aku Aku, what are you doing there, brother? Hello, it's me. I'm on your t-shirt. Yeah, I'm also wearing my uh, Crash Bandicoot Aku Aku t-shirt. I also got all the bonus DLC that came with this game. But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron, this Bandicoot will be my general. And he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. We are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the Vortex! Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Uh-oh! Prepare the female bandicoot. <laughs> oh, this was not part of the original. Not part of the original, but we're going to end Sanity Beach. Oh my god, this game looks absolutely amazing. For $50, 40 if you're, if you're in America, is a great deal for these games, because it's technically three new games. So like, while they're the old games, they've been completely redone. So, is there like a, a way to check if I have everything? Wait, 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 there are now relics? There are now relics in the first world, like the first game. So yeah, square to spin, uh, X to jump, circle, you can't slide in this, triangle brings up everything, and oh, yeah, so you can. Oh, and it also tells you that triangle for, oh, I'm like, triangle for inventory, that's kind of weird. Woongaga, I am Aku Aku. So yeah, I like, I was reading reviews for this, and people said this was hard, and I'm like, well, if you've played the original Crash Bandicoot games, then you know. Oh, you can't do the slam in this game either, okay. But man, this looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so we have an HD LP coming at you guys. Also, there's a steel box there. I don't think it does anything, but it's still there. And it's still a mighty hard. Hard like a steel rod, I guess. But in this case, it's just a steel box. And Wait, do we seriously go invincible? Yeah. With the invincibility, we will take over the world. I don't really remember the first game too well because I never actually played it more than once. Okay, now this is where the game does its whole gotta turn sideways thing. Oh, okay. But that's the... Okay. No! Oh god, the perspective is so weird in this. Like, being completely 3D. Well, it was like 3D to begin with, but with graphics like this, it's so weird. 
Maybe I'll go that way last if I can. It's not weird having invinci- or, I mean, it's not weird. It's weird not having invincibility here now. And you can't slide in this game, so it's kind of like... Oh, well, there's not really much over here anyway. Also, that literally totally wrecked that. Yeah, that's the ending, so... The rest of the boxes are just over here. Or crates, depending on if you want to call them crates. You can call them crates, boxes, whatever you feel like. But yeah, my, my girlfriend's like... She doesn't really care for Crash. But I love Crash, so I had to get it. Whoa. There we go, now we just need that one box. How did I take damage there? I spun into him. Oh, you don't! You can get the gem if you die in this game now. I remember in the uh, original, you couldn't get the gem if you died, but yeah. Ba -da -ba. Crash talks a lot more in this, by the way. 3% complete. Wumpa Islands. So this is literally just where, like, we originate from. And then in the sequel, I believe, we're just in a hub of this world. And then in the third game, we're in a completely different area, as well as the Game Boy Advance games. I have played every other Crash Bandicoot game on my channel, so you should totally check it out. Jungle Rollers. So are we missing... We're just missing the Relic. So let's go Jungle Rollers. Whew. It's super hot, by the way. Like, it's like almost 40 degrees in Canada. Well, like, where I am in Canada. Spinning TNT is deadly. Jump on it instead. Now, what throws me off on this game is just how good the graphics are. So, like, when you jump on boxes, I'm still not used to how it rolls, you know? 43 here. Okay. Hey, we got our life back. Okay, so TNT. I, I hope you can keep it off screen. Okay, you can. Also, were there skunks in the original game? I don't remember there being skunks like so. I don't really want to do the bouncy thing. Oh yeah, this level... Hello, plant. What are you doing here, man? Oh, the Tanya token! I don't know what they're for in this game. Since I think the game is autosave. Also, I bl What?! Oh. Okay, pardon me. I had to cut there for a second because... Apparently my controller had desynced, and that's why I didn't make that jump. So, we're good, we're good. You guys probably couldn't tell that I cut, because it was like literally just a really short cut. And like I said, I'm still getting used to the whole controls on this. Like, plus I've never played Crash using a PS4 controller. I've only ever used it using a PS3 controller. Okay, I should have patiently waited there because of all the enemies. Okay. Yeah, that time we didn't... Wait, no, it was right here that we fell down. I don't want to even touch the side of it. You know, because the side of it could, could be completely dangerous. Okay, there's no random... Wait, what? Ah, I see that up there. I don't know how to get up there. I'm assuming that platform would lead us up there. Like, I'm not entirely sure how this... Like, why there's a platform there now, because I don't remember there being a platform in the original. Spin Doctor! Okay, um... Oh, I actually got it. I was not expecting to get that. It's the only way to get those, apparently, too, because, you know, the way it's set up. See, some things are different, like the order of, like, boxes, and this and that. Oh, and there you go. You can get the bonus, I guess. So jump on. Psychedelic, dude. Oh. Well, that's what those do. Okay. Cool. No, I'm not saying that because I figured out what they do, but... What do you do? Oh, I see. He literally just keeps kidnapping her. Oh, there are literally bonuses now mandatory for the game. For like 100% completion. Originally, those boxes in there didn't count. But now they do. Now I need three more boxes. 
Oh, looks... I don't think we can get 100% here. Not until we can figure out what that platform is. So we'll have to figure out what it does. Yeah, but you missed three boxes. I know, I know, I know. Not much I could do about that because I had no clue where they were. Though I'm assuming they're on that metal box and we have to take that platform up. I am going to assume that at least. So I will probably backtrack and get 100% on everything in the game. So the Great Gate. <laughs> also known as the wall, the Great Wall that uh, Trump wants to build. If you're American. Also, did you guys hear about the giant asteroid coming to Earth in 2027? Like, if it might hit, it might not. But, you know, skeptics are like... Well, not skeptics. People are just like, oh my god, doomsday. 38 boxes. Okay. Not bad. Hold X to bounce high. Oh, you bounce way higher in this game, to be honest. Oh, I'm like, I want that without missing it. I don't mind the side scrolling in this. It looks kind of nice. Oh, yeah, this. There, you just gotta time it. Oh, the monkeys! Also, I wonder what the natives look like in this. If they're actually natives or not. Oh, why do you even need that? Darn box is trying to troll me. Oh yeah, this part. You gotta spin the logs. Though it did tell you in the uh, little toolbar on the loading screen. Whoa. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, what you can do, not what you're supposed to do. Ah, that monkey died. My mic is also in the way of the way I'm recording. Oh, man. We're gonna have to die. I completely seen that Aku Aku uh, box too late. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you can just jump on him like that. And the monkey didn't die this time. What? No! No, that's beautiful, but no. Just, no. Oh yeah, now the turtle's going that way, so... Ah, oh, you didn't kill the plant. Thank you. Uh-oh. The spiky dildos of death. Remember that from my original LP? Aha! You cannot stop me. Actually, I have very slow activation time. Whoa. Oh. Cool. Careful with the moss, it will make you slide. Ooh. Run! This is dangerous, man. Hmm. Oh, I see. You have to jump on him, he'll go back anyway. Oh, we even got the fire coming back. Nice! Everything looks so beautiful in HD. And bonus time! So level 1 didn't have a bonus, sadly. We got 11 boxes. Oh. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. No! Can we go back to the bonus by chance? Okay, so it is like Crash one, uh, 2 and 3, where you can go back to the bonus. It's just... You have to collect all the tokens beforehand. And you still lose Aku Aku and stuff inside it. Like I said, it's gonna... Take some... It's gonna take some time for me to get used to this. And no, you don't lose lives in there. So, that's good news. And it starts off so smooth. There we go, 9 out of 11, 9 11, man. And there she goes again, goodbye. So sad that we keep losing our girlfriend. How many do we have? We're almost done the level then. Wait, what? Oh, another platform, okay. And I bet you that's to get over to the other side. 
Yeah, we missed a lot more this time. Okay, looks like we gotta do some backtracking this game. The Wumpa Islands. I got a text message. Well, let me answer that before we continue any further. McMahon. Wow, I got to answer it before we even load it in. Boulders. I get... Whoops. Oh, um... Okay. If you load a safe slot, I'll... Oh, I'm loading a game. Okay. Interesting. Anyways, let's do boulders as the last uh, level in this episode. I always thought we had a boss fight earlier. Break all of the boxes in the level to earn a clear gem. Yeah, that just says to earn a clear gem, not to earn the color gems or anything of the such. Okay, what do we got? Only 16, so this doesn't sound too bad. I'm thinking that most of the boxes are right there. And see, the thing is, you can't run in this, so you can just literally just go at the pace that you're stuck in. Also, this game has checkpoints, but not very many. From what I've noticed, at least. But that was like the original as well. My finger is just so sweaty, it slips off the analog stick. Woohoo! And we're literally only two boxes away from finishing the level. But yet, we still have half the level to go at least. Maybe the checkpoint's literally just in the middle of the level in this. wonder if the boulder still breaks all the boxes. Kind of interesting to know, you know? We're on! Get out of here! Yeah, another 100%. There we go. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. 10 percent complete. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as we delve deeper into one of the most iconic PlayStation 1 games ever remastered on the PlayStation 4. I have been your host, Solar the Warlock. Yep, my magical fiery doom powers bring forth the apocalypse. See you guys next time. Peace.